Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this super bright and colorful peacock design. For this design, you're going to need the 50 gram rainbow cake beach and the 30 gram split cake sea wave by Krivelin. If you want a more traditional peacock look, you can always use this dusk 30 gram cake by Krivelin as well. To start off, you're going to want to take a small flat brush and load the dark teal and lime green from the Sea Wave Split Cake onto it. And with that dark teal facing out, pivot your brush in a full circle right in the middle of your head. Next, pull down on the edge of the brush and push down in an S shape to make the neck. Now switch to a larger flat brush and load up with the teal, lime green, and purple. And with the purple facing outward, create a swooping motion by rotating and pivoting your brush and ending on its edge. Next we're going to take that beach cake and with the purple color first to help blend into the bird, we're going to do the background of the tail. So just press the purple right up against the bird, go all the way back into the hairline and then blend the yellow out onto the skin. And this cake is so bright and amazing and this video doesn't even do it justice. I love it. It's one of my new favorite cakes. Make sure that the bottom of the tail is, it flares out. So the top is going to be skinnier and the bottom is wider. And then you can flip your sponge over and blend the yellow into the skin for a nice transition. To add some sparkle, I'm poofing gold holographic glitter onto the wet paint and I'm just doing it on the tail. To create the feathers, you're going to load your large flat brush up with the teal and lime green and purple and pivot your brush around ending in a point to create teardrop shapes. I decided to use a really dark blue instead of black to outline and I'm just pressing down on my brush at the base of the teardrop. So you want thin lines at the top and a nice thick line at the bottom where they curve. Now add swirls and lines from those teardrops all the way up to the base of the peacock. And add a little point on the end if you want. This isn't necessary, I just thought it looked nice. And continue adding in swirls anywhere where you think that they would look attractive or to fill in space. Make sure that they swirl downwards and flow nicely. Make sure to do at least one swirl under the eye to help frame the eye and round off the design. Add a little bit of white for the eye and we're going to let that dry now and start outlining the peacock. You want to have a nice swirling S shape for the body and try to keep your lines relatively thin around the head. That way it won't be too overwhelmed by line work. And for the plumes, I think that's what it's called, coming out from the head of the bird, start thick and then end very thin. And we'll add some teardrops to this later. I just decided to do three little feathers coming out from there. Connect the eye to the beak and try to make these lines nice and thin as well. Of course, you have to add eyelashes. And a simple circle at the closer to the front of the eye finishes it off. I wanted to add even more color, so I'm taking the creamy magenta from Krivelin and I'm gonna paint a quick loop inside of my feathers. And this helps give it a cool design and it helps brighten it up by adding that pop of color. And I also accentuated the body with the magenta as well and then finished off the top of the tail and the feathers on the head with little teardrops. For even more brightness and interest, I did little tiny teardrops in the middle of the creamy magenta loops and then I added that yellow to my teardrops on the tail 
and on the feathers on the head as well. And to help tie in the teardrop drops up top with the bottom of the design, I decided to add some quick teardrops around the very bottom swirl and that just helps the design look complete and cohesive. And that's all there is to it. I hope that you guys like this. I think it's a design that adults, teenagers, and little girls will love. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. The link to that is below.